Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I have not one but two cards for you. Two window cards. Both have a very similar design but it's a lot different. I used the pattern papers I got with my Simon Says Stamp Hoppy Days Ahead March 2022 card kit. I love this month's card kit. It's got some real fun and cute stuff in it. All the little bunnies on the stamp set and the beautiful pattern papers, the little stencil and the high quality heavy weight cardstock. For our cards today, I also used my Prisma color pencils. I used them for my previous project and really loved getting back into pencil coloring. So here I am playing with these fun pencil colors all over again. Well, before we get started, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my videos. Alright, before we begin creating our cards today, let's take a look at the materials that I'll be using. All of these are part of the Simon Says Stamp March 2022 card kit. Here you see the Simon Says Stamp 100 pounds smoke card stock. Next, we have this huge 6x8 Hoppy Days Ahead stamp set. It has some really adorable bunnies and all of the fun greetings and sentiments. Take a look at this little cloud stencil. It comes with two sizes of clouds and the negatives. I will be using both the clouds in our cards today. I will also be using some of the pattern papers provided in the kit. I love all the flowers and the textures on these papers. You will also notice that I had a sheet of the Simon Says Stamp Hoppy Easter sentiment strips. Well, I didn't use those for my cards today, uh, maybe in some other future video. Let's get started with our cards. Here you'll see I cut out two top folding A2 size cards using the Simon Says Stamp Smoke cardstock. Initially, I planned on using the wood grain background, but I was not very happy with the grey on grey tone. Maybe I will use this for some other project. Well, for now, I will go ahead with this beautiful flurry pattern paper. For our first card today, I am using this beautiful yet so subtle pattern paper. For my window here, I took the second largest of my circle dies and cut out a circle towards the upper center of this pattern paper. I will save the little cut circle for another project. Let's work on creating a scene for our little window. First, I did go ahead and traced a little circle with my pencil. This is where my window will be. This is exactly what will be shown out from our window. So we need to make sure that all our elements of our scene fits well within this circle. Let's start creating our scenery. First, I will ink blend some clouds for my scenery. For this, I will be using both the small and the big cloud from the Cloud Stencil by Simon Says Stamp. I am using Gina K White Pigment Ink. This is a beautiful white ink. I have used it in multiple card projects before. It works really well with the embossing powders too. Uh, here you'll see that I am holding the stencil in place with a small piece of sticky purple tape. Take a look at how crisp the cloud image turned out. You could add some sparkling embossing powder over this to give it some shine. This is a very sticky ink and the embossing powder will stick right away. Well, I chose to leave it as it is for today's card. Make sure to clean your stencil after each use. You don't want any kind of residual ink to get onto your project. Now that our sky is done, let's go for the ground. I chose the little bunny and surrounded him with some flowers and a little grass border. I also used the Hoppy Birthday Sentiment from the stamp set. I stamped these images in black pigment ink. Then I went ahead and stamped the little tiny hearts in red pigment ink. I placed my pattern paper just to check if everything is in place before I go ahead and do any kind of colouring or further stamping. To color the little stamped images, I am using the Prisma color pencils. I have used these in my previous video too. I will leave a link to that in the description box below. 
I am using very basic colouring here. I have some light shades of grey and white for the bunny. And well for the grass, I used multiple shades of green and some yellows. I kept the flowers nice and bright with those purples and oranges. I did keep a piece of scrap printer paper below the card panel just because I didn't want any harsh lines on the cardstock below. Now that our image is completely colored, it's time to assemble the card. Before I stick the pattern paper, I used an eraser to erase the pencil lines I made earlier. I then uh, used some foam tape to adhere my pattern paper onto this card panel. This gave an extra dimension to my card. You could also turn this window into a shaker card. For now, I will leave it as is. To finish our card, I added some sparkle to the little hearts and then finished it with some glossy accents. Here's a look at the finished card. I loved how this one turned out. Well, this card was very simple and I used some basic coloring and ink blending and finished it off with this beautiful pattern paper window. I did go ahead and add little pom-poms on the tail of my little bunny. Well, you will see that later in the video. Now, let's work on our second card. This one here is also a window card, but here, instead of creating a window just on my pattern paper, I will go ahead and use the circle die to create a window on the front flap of my card base as well. The scene for this card will be on the inner flap of our card, kind of an open window card. You will see that I placed a piece of scrap printer paper between my cardstock and the die cutting plates. That's because my plates are really old and worn out. It sometimes gives those weird crack marks on my die cuts. So this is one way to prevent that. This way, the bottom of my card panel will remain smooth and wrinkle or crack free. Once my window is ready, I went ahead and drew the outline of my window on the inner flap for my scene. I use the same exact technique of stamping, ink blending and colouring. But the only difference here in this card was that instead of stamping the bunny, I used the bunny that I had previously stamped and coloured. I had fuzzy cut out some of the bunnies. This saves a lot of my time when I am creating cards. Once I was done with the scene, I used foam tape to adhere the pattern paper onto the front of the card and then stuck the bunny in the center of the scene. You can write your message above or below the scene. Here you'll see that I used the Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue to stick the pom-poms on the little bunny tails. Again, here I used the Spectrum Noir Glitter Brush Pen and the Glossy Accents for the little hearts on my scene. And that completes our cards for today. Here's a look at both the cards that we created today. For now, I created these simple windows. You could very well turn them into shaker cards. I hope you had fun watching today's video and got inspired. Tag me on my Instagram at rp underscore shutterbug with fun pictures of your projects. Also, mention your thoughts about today's video and some card ideas and techniques that you would like to see in the future videos in the comment section below. Thanks again for joining me today. I would love for you to become a subscriber to my channel and if you do subscribe, make sure to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple of other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much. See you in my next video. Until next time. Stay safe.